everyone. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from round five of the Concordon Galactic Championship Qualifier. Super excited to be here. In all of our Galactic Championship coverage, we have been partnering up with different content creators from around the X-Wing community, and for this round, we have a community team up with Wired Unplugged. How's it going, Brad? I am good, Dion. I am good. So, um, Brad, let's go ahead and break down these lists. Okay, so on your right, let me get the lists around the right way this time. Uh, on your right, we have the resistance list of a uh, Ray running, of course, the Thin Rose shenanigans, plus the Ray's Millennium Falcon title and uh, Core. Core? Is that her name? Cora? Core. Yeah, Core. Uh, yeah. Basically, Core just Core. Yeah. Just cool. Turning blue maneuvers uh, to remove all of your stress tokens. Uh, and on the other side of the board, we have triple silences. Rush, Recoil, and Kylo Ren. Uh, very few upgrades. Uh, sorry. The Resistance list also has two A-Wings in it. Tali and uh, ZZ. <laughs> so there's a couple little tricks in there. But mostly, Ray is just going to punch stuff with a big gun and try and blow things up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, th that... Uh, so we're going to see way, a lot of uh, not... Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Finish up. So I was just going to say uh, the uh, the silencers are going to try and stay out of Ray's firing arc, and Ray is going to try and not let that happen. That's basically the game plan, I think. Agreed. On the right side, Matthew Carey is um, <laughs> the uh, absolutely amazing player out of St. Louis... Really, really good player, and the the one and only. Um, sorry, what was the name of that event? I'm forget. Why am I forgetting? It's, I'm forgetting because it's super late. Uh, I forgot. We're gonna move on. He won an event. Okay, won. excellent he, point. He, yeah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, my brain is it's, it's gone. It's so gone. Uh, but anybody who watched this video in the future, though, I did totally remember to remind you that this round was brought to you by Curl Paw Creatives. Use that coupon code CONCORDON2020 for 20% off. It is good until the end of the um, uh, the end of Tuesday. Sorry, not Tuesday, Monday. Oh my jeez. I guess Tuesday in Australia. So it works. All right, but looks like we're going to we're going to be starting out here with a joust. Bets are yeah, open. This we is, might uh, have to close them pretty quickly. This is not good for the silencer, I don't think. All right, Ray getting out there, taking a target lock. Recoil is in range. Recoil. Everybody knows Recoil is my favorite silencer. Betting broke. It looks like it's going through. Slowly. There it is. The bot's tired, too. And, oh, these A-Wings are coming in for it. They do have proton rockets. So they have that extra punch in there. Watch out, silencers. The, these chips can push through those three agility, and it is time. Kylo Ren has the first shot. We're going to close betting, I think, after these dice get rolled. I have to. There's six minutes left on the clock. Hurry up. Get your bets in. Hurry up and get your bets in. I'm trying to let as many people in the door as possible. Here we go. Oh, whiff, that is a that garbage first, first roll. That's right. One hit after We're spending the force. Spend the force to chase, but you might as well. A-wings are fine. Yep. Was willing to do that also because uh, he has a focus out there as an action. He's only going to be taking two shots max from the A-wings if they decide to shoot forward. And... Does have recoil in range and is going to go at recoil. That means all three ships will be going into recoil. I'm expecting to at least lose shields, maybe a little bit more there. Two dice. Ooh, worst roll for an A-Wing. Very rare. Very rare to have this roll. Probably just holds on to the focus. Not worth it. Ooh, no. Gonna, gonna spend it choosing aggression. Say, like, I'm ZZ. I'll be fine. Enough evades. Not able to strip the focus. Yeah, gonna ZZ's going to get it back anyway. Mm hmm. Spending that charge. And Tali now. Same mm -hmm. shot. At leaving Ray to the end, hoping to uh, get that big hit. And hit crit. There you go, Tally. Able to hold on to the focus for defense. And that's going to be safe. Another safe one. Still not able to strip the focus. Here comes Ray. Range three. 
So we have Remember a target lock here. We'll be going to add, add a blank, blank dice. dice. Mm -hmm. All right, hit crit. Has a target lock out there already. Can just go ahead and spend it on the two blanks. And decisions, will he spend the force? We Probably, yes. Force. Surely, surely, yeah. yes. So three hits and a crit. Oh Into Natty of AIDS. Just, All right, why so not? He's going to get one shield. He's going to get one shield there, but man, that is solid. Absolutely solid. By the oh, way. Oh, sorry. Yeah, because yeah, there was there was four, four hits. Because of the, the blank, yeah. And recoil. Going back into Ray, yes. If you take Ray out in this list, that is the uh, that is the key. By the way, thanks for hanging out with us. We're still at 300 viewers. Here we go. Whoa, <laughs> natties. Just natties. All right. Ray cannot avoid all the... I mean, actually, no, that's a lie. She could. One yeah, plus she range, can. one plus... plus <laughs> yep, you're right. She can. She just has to do it. Let's see. Well, there Shoot. you go. Wow. Spend the, spend the force using her ability to change the blank into an evade. Let's just not take any damage. We'll see what Kylo has to say about that. And did, did Kylo file? Uh, fire that's it. Or, uh, Kylo went first. Ky Kylo fired first and did nothing. Did we have a shot from Rush? All right. So we will go ahead and... All right, I have that adjusted now. Apparently, I'm Jump. too loud, too down. No, I, I got Did it you already. Catch that? Yeah, you got it already. Yep. Don't change I was how just you're talking. Really excited. Don't change <laughs> how you're talking. You're fine. You're fine. I had it turned up because Nick's voice is just lower. That's all. So I had to. I turned it up to for him. You guys are good now. You're fine. So for everybody joining us, a right. uh, couple of reminders I do want to throw out there. Um, so next weekend, we don't have any uh, any qualifier next weekend. We'll, we will have our flight club, which starts at 5 p.m. Central on Saturday. So hopefully you guys can join us. By the way, if you want to be a part of the flight club and play one of those exhibition matches, just type exclamation point flight club. Anybody can join. It's absolutely free. Um, but the weekend after that, we have another qualifier we have two left after concord dawn sorry we have three left we have crate on, on october 3rd and 4th super excited about that one because that one is going to have our new ships they're going to be legal we're going to see the lat we're going to see the hmp hmp droid gunship and the psi on the table super excited for that any of you guys in the chat going to be participating in that let me know and, uh, yeah, and then, of course, we have Ryloth and then Mustafar after that. Mustafar is the only hyperspace qualifier. So if you're looking to play a hyperspace tournament, uh, you have that opportunity October 24th and 5th. If you want to see those dates, go to goldsquadronpodcast.com. But here we go. Uh, so just to answer the question in the chat, this is round five. We're playing six rounds today. So this game and one more. And then we have a top 16 cut happening tomorrow, Australian time. Mm -hmm. uh, now, we've had Rush move in, and Recoil has just flown straight up the guts there. Yeah, looking to just take up some space. hoping to take up the space, yeah, and block the Falcons' options. I mean, a one straight from Ray here would be... Uh, Really nice if that's what Matt has done. Uh, looks like he's still considering a reposition. Yeah, maybe this is this is that situation where it's like, did you expect me to bring him in for for the block or not? Because if Ray expected it and just did like a three bank, and we had the boost in from recoil, then you just hop over and you have a shot out the back. Um. So there's a little bit of uh, would you? Uh, he's going to go ahead and leave him right there just with the focus. And here's Kylo going to the edge, facing down those A-wings. Remember, Jonathan is the first player, which means that these A-wings will be able to react if they're able to complete their maneuvers. I would say I don't know where the A-wings are going to go. They do have, a, they do have uh, quite a bit of their space taken up right now. They're ships that like to move fast. Well, here we go. We're about to find out. If it was me, 5K is right over that uh, gas cloud. 
That's what I have done. <laughs> but that is not what Matt has done. No, I'm going to take two forward. Straight up. All right, that's. Tally not should be ideal. able to barrel roll if she'd like. No, going to take a focus. Ray going to make that. Oh, oh my goodness. Going They're going. Kylo. Hard into Kylo. Very hard into Kylo. That maneuver fits. Wow. So maybe those maybe those A wings were actually there trying to maybe catch Kylo or cut down his option so he could get that big shot with Ray this turn. Yeah. I I think I think you're right. So Kylo gave up a shot to hit that corner, probably trying to be evasive. And um we are gonna have Ray punch Kylo pretty hard. He does have a focus. Of course, Ray is going to going to be taking two shots though from the other silencers. But here we go, range two, three on three. Blank is added there from Finn. Let's find out what the roll is. One hit. Uh, so we're going to uses... spend the blank to get a target yep. lock, or one of the blanks to get a target lock. And we'll spend it into two more hits. Natty's baby. All right, so that was the that was the game plan: is get Ray to shoot Kylo. It's uh, yielded no damage, and now we have the silences punching into Ray. Oh, oh Ray, Ray's going to be taking some damage. Three hits and a crit there. Does get the evade, but uh, that is shields down for Ray. Uh, is that range two from the second silencer here? Yes. It sure is. Here we go. For Ooh, another hit, hit and crit, crit. crit. Oh, brutal. So that is going into the hole. Got the eyeball. Spends a force. Uh, taking two crits. Number one is hole breach. Everything's face up Ooh. after this. Chewy, see if you can get that patched up. <laughs> and the second one was... I it's missed it. Stunned pilot. All right, stun pilot after you execute a maneuver. If you move through or overlap an obstacle, suffer damage. That's uh, a little problematic this turn as well because that gas cloud is right there. Yeah, it's, it's very rare that you actually see stun pilot do anything, but I think it could be one of those. Now, Ray does have the space to do the sloop into the right corner if she would like. Um, I'm assuming that she's going to have the space to do that. Those A-wings, though, they will have to blow through the cloud, and their arcs are facing forward, which means that they will not have a, a way to shoot next turn, most likely. But we'll find out. Looking at the position, yeah, Jonathan Kylo is scot-free. Go ahead. Jonathan in a pretty uh, strong position here. I mean, I like A-Wings running around for 75 minutes shooting at stuff, but not really against silences. And not if you're outnumbered 3-2 to two as well, if Ray goes down. Which it does look like she's going to do. Yeah, so in this list... Because I think it... she's going to take, like, best case... Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I was just going to say, best case scenario, Ray's getting shot by two silences this turn. I don't mm -hmm. think she's going to avoid that. She might be able to avoid one, but I think she's taking two. Jonathan not having to really worry about too much, uh, too many guns this turn. So I think he can afford to go pretty aggressive towards Ray. Yep, and the the aggressive turn towards Kylo is wasn't a bad move. I know that it didn't didn't net him what he was looking for because there there is a timeline where Kylo is half points, right? Like that is that is definitely something that could have happened if Kylo didn't 
turn as hard into the corner and maybe had bumped into one of the A-wings by trying to be cheeky and, and maybe go through the cloud or something. Uh, that could have happened. Because I don't, I don't think that, uh, that it was obvious that Matt was going to go at Kylo there because of how close that was to the cloud. But, uh, you know, the, the gambit doesn't always pay off. And that's, you know, we talk about it all the time uh, on this channel that there's there's moments where a player can make a move and, you know, in, in a vacuum it seems random or like, why would you do that? That's, you know, it looks bad. But, you know, if it if it works out, then they look like a genius, right? So that's, you got to gotta remember those things. But here we go. Rush taking a two bank, uh, ready to punish some A-wings who are going to be coming through the clouds. Also catches Ray if she goes left mm -hmm. rather than right. Oh. All right, taking recoil. recoil. Going the other way, though. Yeah, there really wasn't much space for recoil, so I get that. And we do have 60 minutes left on the clock. You don't have to kill Ray this turn. Mm-hmm. Taking a three bank. Focus, maybe a boost here to get a little bit of space. And yes takes a stress from using the auto thrusters ship ability on the tie silencer first turn here from zz rolling through the cloud going to be facing off against rush no strain there tally going straight and after taking the strain most likely will be the target of rush they're sitting at range two Ray does do the sloop, but I don't know if she's going to have any shots. She could use uh, Ray's Millennium Falcon to do the boost. Right, she has the Falcon title. She does, so she can boost and does. Yep. So was able to catch Kylo here from behind, and that might even be range one. Hopefully she can make that shot yep. worth it. Yeah, so it looks like long-term play from Jonathan there, pulling the silences away rather than going after Ray this turn. But some good flying from Ray, and uh, maybe we'll see things swing back a little bit. So this looks like the first shot from uh, ZZ into Rush. Yep, able to take a token there on ZZ. Takes a focus Uses. after using the ability. And it is a range one shot for Ray into Kylo. All right, so... Four reds plus a blank. And we do have some force. I'm going to go ahead and spend the blank like to get the... spend the blank for a target lock. Yep, that's using rose. Which we're then going to spend. And we're going to re-roll both the eyeball and the blank. So two hits so far. Oh! Oh, nice. Being able to get that is awesome. Being able to hold on to some of the force. Going to be taking two there. Shields are down. Shields are down on Kylo. One away from half. Gets the force back, by the way, because of the hate upgrade. And here we go. I'm assuming we're going into tally. Yes, good choice, yeah, because that is the one without a, totally, without a token. Rush has a focus token. Which and that's three hits. To get three hits. Two greens from tally. Both eyeballs. No All tokens right. there. Half point and another one. One away from losing tally. So, so big swings doing well on there both sides. Damage through on Kylo. Mm -hmm. And not taking any more damage on Ray, but Tally almost dead. Absolutely awesome. Like I think the the positioning right now um, for okay, for so you... for the silencers are, is really solid. Oh, so it doesn't really look like uh, Jonathan has good options to get shots on Ray this turn either. So we might see another fairly good turn for the resistance side. Yeah, and I want to see. Stressed. I want to see where Ray goes um, because she she probably wants to keep chasing down Kylo. But the question is, where is Kylo going to go? Does he continue into the corner? So then you go straight. Is he going to try to hard one to try to block Ray? So then if you think that's happening, you probably try to sloop behind. 
Um, is slooping just the safest choice to do? Because if you do get blocked, like it's okay. Because you can do that with Raise Millennium Falcon title. You only have two stress at the moment. What would you do with it? I don't know. I kind of, I kind of feel like if you're Ray, you do just like a blue one forward and then use the boost to adjust depending on where Kylo is gone. That's very true. One forward is unless, a super solid move. Uh, rush, rush, rush turns in and gets in the way with a no. Yeah, oh, yeah. I think that's just yeah. Go the one forward, clear a stress, and then adjust for Kylo's final position. Yep. The the barrel roll there on rush is a a block attempt on the two bank for ZZ, or a hard turn in from Kylo. Kylo doing the too hard. That clears the stress. Kylo, where are you going? Just going to stay there with the focus. And there is the block. Actually blocked the three bank with that. Tally getting out of town. Focus probably a rotate. Just to try to get a gun on. And does. Oh, the, one, the one forward. straight? It was the one that straight. That was the one straight. Flipping the whole breach as an action. Very smart idea with the shots coming in. Kylo. Kylo might not have a shot. Uh, did we have... Can we do the whole breach with stress? Oh, you're right. You're right. Oh, he had Corsella. He has Corsella. All oh, right, so the blue clears all of them. Yeah. yeah. No worries. Just, 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 yeah. So no, but there's no stress, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh, Corsella. good. All right. Uh, all right. Ray got two coming in, and enough. I'm oh, sorry, that was ZZ. Excuse me. That was ZZ, me. That was ZZ firing at, at Kylo. Now it's Ray or Tally. Here we go. This is Tally. Tally into Rush at range three. Mm hmm. Nothing there. Gonna hang on to that focus, I'm sure. Now, this is the shot we really want to see right here. Range one from Ray, four dice, one blank from Finn out there. Should be able to get the target lock using Rose afterwards if need be. Or, of course, could use her ability to change a blank to a hit. Nope, going to swap that out for a target oh, lock. Only one hit. Yep. Reroll so re -roll three. Three? Or just the two, because Ray's nah, still you, got two force. No, he's going to be rolling all three. Yep. There it oh. is. Rewarded. Oh, oh boom. Kylo down to Kylo. one hole. That's down to one hole. Oof. Excuse me, down to two hole. Is it down to two? Wait, did he draw enough cards? No, no, he shouldn't have taken three. Did he have shields down already? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Shields were down already. Yes. All right, cool. I actually thought Kylo was dead there. I forgot they had four hull. I'm... Oh, no. Yeah, Everyone shields were confused. down. Shields were down.
Okay, so we're yeah, back we to Kylo out. being on one hull. Uh, looks like Recoil has lost a shield there as well. Uh, from the shot from ZZ. And now we have Rush into Tali at long range. Going to be three. And Actually, we've no, got paint. It looks like he... Did he go into... Oh, he went into Tally. All right, we're good. Yeah, I went into Tally. Tally spends the focus and lives. All right, well, here we go. We got Rush into Ray. Four dice. Oh, Oof, that hurts. That hurts. That's not fair. Only one, and Ray can't use her ability on that. We're going to get half points. All right, 72 to 40, 40 right now. Jonathan is still ahead. Yes, I know. Uh, yes, I, I said it incorrectly. Uh, went into ZZ. That's why there was only three agility there. So ZZ did lose two shields because there was no focus on uh, onto ZZ. So oh, ZZ right. should have two shields down. Okay. Yeah. So, so uh, half points Nick, all around. when you have a second, please remove two shields from ZZ. Let's get that up to upgraded, updated. Oh my Jesus! All right, ninety-eight to forty. <sighs> Wake up! Wake up, brain! Wake up! <laughs> Turning into a pumpkin. I'm not following it. Like, I'm awake. It's just like my, my the brain functioning is going away. <laughs> As you can see, <laughs> I, the, the quality of my sentence is <laughs> going downhill. Okay, so I think we have finished that turn with yes. some confusion. But we got it. Also, we got it. Kylo almost dead, but all of the resistance ships half points now. Yes. A-wings limping along. Now, so trading uh, Kylo for almost half of your list is probably not going to work in Matt's favor here. I don't think the wounded A-wings will be able to fight the silences super effectively. Although, they do get to move last, so they have that working in their favor. And Ray is not dead yet. She is half dead but not dead. She's an extremely survivable ship, so even though she only has five hull and one agility, she can turn that into into quite a few turns <laughs> as, as long as she's not taking concentrated fire from all three. Okay, so we're at dials. Looks like yes. we're ready to go. Hey, Nick, can you jump in here for a second? I'm going to go make myself coffee. I I, I I need to. I I can feel myself fading. All right. Yeah, sure. All right. Welcome, welcome, Nick. Producer Nick is gonna take over. Hey, Anybody hey, watching this in the future on YouTube, uh, it's super late here. All right. I I just need a coffee to to get me going. I'll be back. All right. How's it going, Nick? I'm good. I am. I'm doing good. I'm enjoying this game so far. It's been. The last few rounds, I think everyone can agree, has been very bloody. <laughs> and yet again, another game of just joust. And uh, can't, you can redeem me Nick in the chat. Very nice. <laughs> right on cue. Thanks, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's been it's been some really, really uh, entertaining games of X-Wing the last few rounds. And uh, thematic, once again, resistance, first order. But yeah, like you guys said, Ray is... Definitely a position I think Matt is in a decent spot with Ray right now. As long as she doesn't get focus fired, I think she could do some good damage. Yeah, she's definitely a big gun. Um, we've got Tali moving into the corner of the board, staying out of harm's way on one hit point. We've got another sloop from Ray. Now that's going to give her a decent shot on Rush. So 
So easy turns away. So we're not going to have a lot of shooting this turn, although it does look like ZZ's going to get a shot out the back into Rush as well. Or any of the ships, actually. Looks like she's got all of them. Yep. So uh, I'm, taking... being told, <laughs> I'm being told that I'm too quiet, so I'm going to speak a little bit louder. But guys, I don't really have any... I can't do anything about that. Dion has the mixer uh, controls, so <laughs> I don't know how bad that is. Keep, take it away, though, man. I'll be here for support. It's all you. <laughs> don't want to be all right. <laughs> Just, Just talk louder. Be more excited. I, I, all right, I, so... that's, that's my job. <laughs> I try. <laughs> I just saw a whole bunch of pitches rolled. It's like this is... Uh, it is raised shot here. Looks like we're going to spend that blank to get a target lock. Reroll the two dice into a hit, crit, an eyeball, which will be a force. Oh, just one evade there. Yeah, so Rush taking a couple of shields. Yep, both shields down on Rush after that shot. Uh, Rush now shooting back into Ray. Rolls two eyeballs, which does not help, and one hit. Just the one green dice from Ray is a blank. Uh, we add a blank and use a force. So Ray still tanking. Shields down on both silences. And we are back to dials. Just clearing away the green tokens. Test one, two. All right. Well, <laughs> I'm going to talk a little bit louder. <laughs> and, and I'm going to see if people can hear me any better. So, yeah, we got shields down on all the silencers here. Kylo is hanging on for dear life. I think we can expect Kylo to go pretty soon. Um, that's, that's, the, that's the tough, that's the tough uh, challenge with building a list around Kylo Ren is just he's so expensive, but he's such a good ship at the same time. It's, it's real tough. Um, yeah, I, what do you expect to see here? Let's see, we got Tally's on one hole at the bottom there, trying to get back in the fight, but also Matt's got to be careful with Tally. Pop real fast. Yeah, I mean, I guess the best thing with Tally at the moment is if she stays hiding, she's probably drawing a silencer away to chase, and then Ray's only got to worry about two of them for a turn. So I think the longer she stays alive, the longer Ray gets to fight two silencers instead of three. Yeah. So I think it's, I mean, it's almost worth ignoring Tali if you are Jonathan. Right, because this, this is a this is a two shot gun from way downtown. You expect, with you know, assuming you have the mods and rolling four or five dice at range, maybe obstruction that you can just shrug off that shot. Definitely not the target priority at all right now. Yeah, still forty two minutes left in the round. Yeah. So. Yeah. I keep thinking Bringing we have down... a lot less time. <laughs> we have a lot of yeah, time. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> there is a lot of time left in the, this round. So bringing down Ray, you've got time to play cat and mouse with the A-Wings for heaps of time. Um, just obviously being careful that Tali doesn't sneak in with a proton rocket and take one of the silences off the board. That's right. That is right. Yep, and that's proton rocket bullseye range one to two. So it can... So Rush is just in there jamming up space that Ray might want to go to. Recoil has turned to face that space that Tali is probably going to end up in. Although, I mean, we could see an aggressive turn from this Tali. This is an aggressive and... change, and this is a target shift into Tali. It looks like... Yeah, Carlo's right. coming as well. Yep. Daddy's back. Daddy's home. All right. Hey, Dion, I don't know if... Might come up, but I guess I'm a little quiet. I'm speaking louder, but people are saying I'm quiet, so I don't know if that's something you can do anything about. I can't do anything about it right now, but we we back. Cool. 
started yelling. So a bit better. <laughs> okay, everybody. <laughs> How's it going? All righty. So I see Ray here took a two bank. Kylo is super far away. I guess I, I missed a turn of uh, of moving, but no, maybe no shots being taken. Not any significant damage was taken. Rush lost two shields from Ray. All right. Uh, what's interesting That's... now is what Tali has done, is whether she's going to go uh, hard turn in and try and proton rocket and then die. I mean, I would trade I would trade Tally for the rest of Kylo. I think that's worth it all day if you can get if you can get the uh, proton rocket. I don't know, can you get the does the boost give you bullseye? It's close. You might be clipping the the yeah, bottom it's... corner of it. <laughs> all right, there's a barrel roll to the left which gets him out of range there. Uh, and, and gives the... him a proton rocket on recoil? No, he doesn't have a focus. Oh, no focus, sorry. No focus, but right here, Kylo didn't have any mods besides the one tally looking just for a natty and couldn't oh, get it. Oh, no. Could not get it. Oh, my God. Okay, well, that right, feels that's, bad. That's you had an opportunity to possibly rough. get a proton, proton rocket off there and uh, try, to be, try to be, you know, cagey. We'll get a shot. Uh, he accidentally he removed the the ship because they're both initiative five going into uh, yeah because the ship got moved would have had a shot two Which, crits oh my my roll take two crits why not well Kylo's Kylo lives Kylo's able to fine. spend the force we're fine how are you. And we got two shots into Rush over Rush. here. Two hits. So range, range two. Takes one damage. Officially is initiative seven. Six. And, oh, six, excuse me. Seven sounds better. Um, <laughs> doesn't, doesn't make any difference when everybody else is a five. <laughs> and Ray whiffs on that attack. Going to spend the target lock she already have and only a hit crit. And safe. And that is. We're fine. You're correct that Rush should have shot before Ray, but because Rush is facing the board edge and has no... no uh, Targets doesn't really matter, but yes, in that sense, uh, if Rush was facing the other way, it would have actually gone to Rush first and then back to Ray. Good point, <laughs> Nickel City. I can't see. Open your eyes, man. Open your eyes. So I would say, you know, that turn definitely favors Jonathan there. Um, I think Matt was probably hoping to do some more damage into into Rush. You know, you do the damage, you make Rush initiative six, and you don't really get anything else out of that besides the half points. 121 to 69 right now uh, favoring Jonathan. Yeah, so I guess the good thing for Matt is uh, none of those silences are outside of the range where Ray can just one-shot them. So she can push enough damage through to kill whichever one she happens to shoot at next. Uh, and she still has enough hit points left to take a couple of rounds of shooting. Mm -hmm. uh, and ZZ still does have those proton rockets up their sleeve yep you know I, I bet if i i i am almost sure that matt is kicking himself not taking the risk to take the proton torpedo shot at kylo and trying yeah, uh just... hoping hoping that the four dice would sur would survive all right takes the stress there and now those silencers i actually i really like this from jonathan he's coming going to be coming from two different angles to converge onto Ray. Taking a boost towards the top of the board, or bottom, from your guys' view. 
ZZ right now is a non-factor, just keeping that arc pointed to the back. And Rush probably going to be taking, uh, sorry, Ray taking a target lock before Rush moves. Rush and turning to chase ZZ. Mm -hmm. We'll be getting shot by Ray and ZZ. Both have the arcs, back arc, live. Uh, oh, yeah. Ooh. Not if you kill ZZ first, right? And that this looks is very like true. Arc dodge. Range. Aggressive play by the silencer here. Only, oh, no. What? He's just double checking rolled. which barrel roll he wants to do. Okay, cool. It chooses to go forward instead of backwards. Great play there. Taking advantage of Rush's ability, being able to pop up to that initiative six after taking a damage. All right, range one, four dice coming in. Unmodified. Only two hull left on that A-wing. Here we go. That's going to be two. Average. Going to get out there with the focus. Okay. Super happy about that. Gets to keep it because of the ability, or not actually keep it, gets a, a, another focus, but not going to be relevant this turn because there's no shot there. Ray might be able to reach Do from the front. A no. Range shot? No. That's it. That's the turn. All right. Hey now, guys, we did have actually, a question. Uh, some, I saw it in the chat. I thought it might be worth. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. Go no, ahead. I, think, I think we might be going to the same thing. Somebody is had this, asked about is Rebel this, Lists. So, is this, uh, no, it was actually about Rush and the order of engagement once Rush's ability triggers. Because, go for uh, it. Something about the FAQ. So basically, uh, this is something I didn't even know about until recently, but once Rush becomes damaged, the uh, pilot ability triggers, which changes Rush's initiative value from 2 to 6, even after Rush's uh, or the initiative 6 slot in the engagement phase is passed, Rush is allowed to engage uh, at initiative 6 before initiative 2, if that makes sense. It's a little confusing, but I saw somebody mention that in the chat. I'm not sure if it was an FAQ recently or if that's just always been the way it is, but uh, that is something that I just found out recently. So if that's something we're talking about or saw it in the chat, so... It's confusing, <laughs> but it's something. It is confusing. That, yes. Okay, here we go. Recoil turning in towards Ray, who is jammed up in that uh, asteroid, asteroid, gas cloud mess that is there. She's probably hoping not to it touch that stuff, though. It was Nickel City X, so you made me shout him out. <laughs> there you go. You had no choice. Greg got gotcha. you. All right, Kylo, Kylo making his way around the mound. Looks like, looks like Good. Jonathan's going to try and take out ZZ before worrying about fighting Ray. Ooh, able to land that. Going to be able Whoa. to face off against Ooh. Rush. Amazing. So Ray Takes does shoot target lock. before Rush. Mm -hmm. And Rush has three hull left. Ray's going to throw four dice plus a blank. That's going to be pretty good. Kylo Rem giving, let it, making sure to remind me that recoil is stressed, so the ability is live. Yes. Yes, it is. So if uh, if Rukoyo gets to live, we'll be able to use Predator on the attack against Ray. Rush taking the opportunity to target lock ZZ. Yeah, it looks like everybody else is going to be out of range. It's just going to be the Ray versus Recoil. 
Starting with the big fat attack from Ray. Ray really wants to one shot this guy right here. Get him off the board without taking any damage, and you probably have a chance. So Ray has two force active plus a target lock, which we're going to spend on the two blanks and the focus. And the eyeball. All right, use the ability That's for one. Third hit. So we need to push Ooh, through two. Oh, got him. Got him. That's, Boom. Th this keeps Matt in the game and actually pulls him ahead enough. 121 to 128. Wow. Ray doing Ray things. Yeah, that recoil ability did some good, huh, guys? By the way, I'm just saying that to poke people, poke some oh, fun wow. at some people in the chat. <laughs> so, my bad. Recoil actually had four hit points left there, not three. So we just pushed four through when we needed to push four through. There you go. It's Rush that is on three hull. So, yeah, that was a really big triple <laughs> blank from your focused four hit point silencer. <laughs> All righty, with Matt in the lead right now, he needs Still. to chase down Kylo. Kylo with one hole left. Like, this this is a tight game. This really, anybody can win this. Yeah, I mean, a proton rocket from uh, ZZ could take out Kylo without too much trouble and even push through and kill Rush if he can get that shot. So Jonathan has to be super careful about both potential guns. Now, I like Ray this move from Kylo. Huh, interesting. Okay, turning away with Ray. Ray is obviously your big weapon. It is your big weapon. Gonna boost. I mean, there right. is time. There is time. And there's no point taking a damage from the uh, stun pilot. If you don't have to. Uh, is that ZZ right in there? Prockets are ready. Yeah, we need to focus though, and we've taken a target lock. But Kylo will shoot, and ZZ will use his pilot ability to get a focus, and then have target lock focus proton rockets. Even if he dies, because they're both at five. So, yep, good yep. play, taking the target lock. I mean, I guess so we'll... Kylo could just not shoot. That's the other option. That's actually exactly what Matt did, because Matt didn't turn the arc forward. It is literally, oh. fine, you can shoot me. I get to proton rocket you in the face, but you can shoot me. And I think Jonathan has yep. realized no it, shot. and they've gone to dials. Cheeky. Oh, my God. Hilarious. That Good worked. heads up for Jonathan. Yep. Smart play. Taking the shot there. Absolutely not worth it. So, clever play from uh, Matt there, taking the target lock. Banking on getting the focus from Kylo's shot. And then super clever play from Jonathan not taking the shot to let that happen. Would have been interesting to see what decision he made if the arc was facing forward. And ZZ was going to shoot him anyway, because he only has one hit point left. Right. So Though, if he was copping I... three red dice... Uh-huh. If he was going to cop three red dice, does he shoot? Probably... I think the trade but, there would have been worth it, though, to take the focus. Like, yeah, fine, I'll take the shot from Kylo. I'll die, but then I'll kill you back. And the, the points trade favors uh, favors him. Though, of course, having ZZ alive does have value as well. All right, taking the one turn to the left. ZZ was not stressed last turn. I think he's just going to plan to continue bullying Rush, maybe continue using him as a blocker. He takes a focus token and will rotate to the front. 
Yeah, I think he expects Rush is either going to bump him or go past him. I mean, he's not slotting in behind him, so that's safe. Ray's, Ray's coming around. Pretty far out right now. Rush won't be able to reach range. But we are going to have an engagement. I think the engagement that Matt probably wanted uh, in next turn. Because Ray will probably just one bank. And I have some shots. This is coming down to the wire. Absolutely love it. Thank you to all the players and, of course, people who've watched this weekend. We have one more round after this. I'm feeling good. The coffee's starting to pick me up a little bit. Hopefully, I'm sounding a little more competent. You guys let me know. Am I sounding a little better now? <laughs> Definitely. All right. So, one more round. ZZ has the flank right now. Ray has stuff in her front arc, which is what she likes. We'll see what happens. Rashta, thank you so much for your sub. Getting us to 193. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Target rich environment. Absolutely, it's a tiger target rich environment. This turn most likely decides the game. This is make or break. Yeah, it looks like we're set. And Kylo going big aggressive. Move Kylo. Yep, going for the block. Stress. stress. And the bump does, yep. But she should be able to shoot uh, into rush. We'll find out. Oh, man. The positioning there. Okay. By blocking Ray, that makes it so that there's one less shot going into her, which Ray likes. But I'm not sure if... Oh, does the barrel roll? The barrel puts him in front of that debris, but might get him out of the arc. Rush might be able I to don't think put some pain. I don't know. Maybe. He's look. He's definitely looking at it. He's trying mm -hmm. to work it out. I think it just does. I think, that, I think that's what I'm saying. I think barrel rolling back into the right will get you out. No consequences. You got to block. Focus. Barrel. Yep, nice. There we go. Yep. 100% behind the rock. And, oh, and it's range one. And it's in bullseye. Does it matter? Does he have anything? No, it doesn't matter. But still, feels good. Feels better when you have it in a bullseye. Range one. Hit crit. Ray does get to check her arc. Oh, she has him in oh, arc, actually. Oh, she's got him. She has him. It's at range two, Just though. Just missed. Does mean that she gets that extra dice modification. Uh, will spend one force to change a blank to an evade. Still takes a crit, though. Going to spend the blank to acquire the target, target lock, lock. which nice. leads leads her into this next attack with an extra die. Uh, sorry, with an extra mod. So what was the crit? Did we see what that was? I think that's coming now. Yep. I'm going to the deck. Wounded, Wounded pilot. pilot. After you perform an att uh, a action, roll a die. If you get a hit or a crit, take a stress. Now, is that target lock in action? No. Uh, no, it's just acquire. Here we go, range yep. two. So three plus a blank with a target lock and a force charge. We got two hits so far. Yep, re-roll both with the target lock. And oh, whew, another hit two crit. hits and a crit. Hit right, crit. Push through hit crit. One hole left. Could kill her with a damage. Uh, sorry, with a double damage. Console fire. Oh, it's a All console right. fire. Rush doesn't like that, especially because Rush most likely doesn't have an action next turn to flip that over. So 50, not 50% chance, 3 out of 8 chance to uh, get 
rush dying here uh, from the console fire. We'll be able to shoot, though. Oh, man, this is coming down to the wire. 121 to 128. Jonathan's got to roll some blanks or crits on that console fire to have a chance. you got to take out Ray in the next couple turns in order to have a chance. Yeah, Ray still has four hit points left. And both silences down to a single hull, which makes that two dice gun from the A-Wing a problem that you can't ignore either. All right, a lot of people in the chat thinking that we're going to get a Talon roll from Ray. What do you guys, what do you think? Well, I'm sure it's going to be a sloop, right? There's no Talon roll on that dial. Oh, I'm sorry, did I say Talon roll? I swore I said you sloop. You meant, you meant sloop, but it All is right. late. I think <laughs> sloop is correct as well. My, my, bra my brain, I will tell you, my brain 100% said sloop. Whatever comes out of my <laughs> mouth, apparently I'm not realizing it. We got I'm a drinking case from Kylo. Oh, the Ray has oh. bumped there? No, no No, bump. no, she cleared that. And she has range. She's facing off with Rush. Has Kylo in the back arc. Looks like Ray's going to flip the wounded pilot. Well, Rush hasn't moved yet, so Rush is not going to end up there. I'm kind of surprised that... That he wasted, he not. Wait, I don't want to say wasted. I'm surprised that he uses action to flip wounded pilot. Why didn't he flip stunned pilot? Ah, uh, because you can't. Oh well, I think he should have taken. <laughs> I think be... he should have taken a mod then. I think he should have taken a focus or something. Take a focus and potentially get a stress. That's not a huge deal. Yeah. Yep. I mean, what do we got? We got two active force. And oh, bombs rush onto the debris. So we might die to a crit, or we might die to a console fire. Got a couple couple of chances here. Nope, Doesn't not to die, that one. But uh, console fire right after. Fire. Try it again. Does the console fire end it? It does not. Double eyeballs. Uh, but we do have two shots into Kylo, maybe. Uh, I think it's just going to be Ray first. out the back. Yep. ZZ out of range. So Kylo into Ray first. Range three. Has force up. Uh, Kylo rolls awful. I'm going to spend one spend force, force for one. And Ray gets it. The Falcon. Taking the oh, target lock gives... yep. with the blink. So it does end up with a mod. Here we go. Range three out the back. Three dice. Kyla got one force to play with. Who hit, hit crit. You only got to push one hits. through. Two blanks will do it. And that is, that is Kylo. It. Gone. Dice panic, by the way, for anybody who wanted to know. So Matt Carey is in the lead now. One hole left on Rush. I mean, I... I don't want to call the game, but it is uh, not looking good. Put it that way. Still four hit points left on Ray, which is too many to try and do in one, reliably do in one go. Thank you to Isaac and Nieves for subscribing to our YouTube channel. Just saw that uh, subscription there. Thank you so much. By the way, are you at home? Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Why don't you do that? Help us out. Look, all these X-Wing games you got. Get them all. All right. Kind of loopy. Anybody watching this in the future, please forgive me. It is it is very late <laughs> in, in Chicago. All right. So we have... Eight. Fast walker, four plus four equals eight. Thank you for checking on me, though. I appreciate you, fam. <laughs> I 
All right, ZZ looking yeah. for the block. Gonna and rotate, rotate the arc. The back. Yeah, that makes sense. And the two turn does avoid hitting the rock, so no stun pilot damage. Do we rotate the arc here? He's probably thinking about it. I mean, if Rush does a two hard to the left, that is 100%. I mean, honestly, the two hard to the left avoids either arc. You've given the choice to uh, to rush. Is Rush going to hit that debris again this turn? Mm, it's super close. All right. Well, that's an arc no. dodge after the two hard left. Did not hit the rock. Boost. Yep, move in. We've still got uh, a shot from ZZ, though, with the target lock focus. First action was to flip the console fire, by the way. So, rush now into Ray. And oh, that's a pretty good roll. Ooh, hit crit. So, we got spends, four hit points left on Ray. Spends that blank to get a target lock. Let's find out what happens here. Double damage will kill her, though. Takes the whole deck. That is 27 cards you just grabbed. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> okay. One. Two. two shall we see and it is a disabled Disable power, regulator. power regulator. That's not uh, be super relevant. Nope. So that one is the one that after you engage, you take an ion token. It will take three ion tokens to ionize the falcon. But here we go. It's easy now. Two dice. Target lock focus into a one hit point silencer with Spends no Spends for two. Two hits and a Got game. Him. Got him. Congratulations, Matt Carey. Winning that game 121 to 200. Absolutely. That was an amazing game.